Happy Halloween, folks. It is I, Pyron, here with a uh, Halloween video today. Uh, not, here's my little Halloween setup that I have right now. Um, this is uh, not my best Halloween setup. This is like my first time around trying to do this. Uh, not the best, and eh, but you know, I think it's pretty good. We got some uh, Calaveras from my Day of the Dead, as uh, being uh, Hispanic and whatnot is part of my culture, and I've been celebrating it. Uh, we do like that five to seven days for the Day of the Dead. Like going from like, what is it, like the 28th of October all the way to like the November 3rd or 4th. Uh, that's how my family or my area of Mexico kind of do, does it and whatnot. Uh, but what's it called? But yeah, uh, we also got some snake uh, uh, candle holders, which are pretty great. Uh, and you can see right here, I also have a White Sox baseball. Because that is my team, uh, Chicago, all the way. Uh, and then we have some, um, other halloween -esque things. I have my Stardy Sisters, my Battle Sisters here. I have my Gundam Grimmery with a Scythe that it's currently borrowed at the moment at, uh, uh, that's borrowed from my, uh, little statue thing from, um, from Babylonia. Then we have a me over there inside the cup of the Black Cal uh, Calavera Skull. Uh, because I was, like, thinking, it's like, okay, who else can I bring in this, uh, Halloween stuff and whatnot? And, you know, my Spart- Emil's very Halloween. His skull, his uh, Spartan EVA helmet is basically a uh, goddamn skeleton mask. Let's go. Showing that over here. This is actually one of the Mc more uh, no, the uh, Halo Spartans McFarner figures. Uh, I really do miss uh, McFarner making the figures because they used to be great. Now all the Spartan figures aren't as good as they used to be. Uh, but yeah, this is like a 2010 figure all the way back. Oof, almost 14 years ago. But yeah, you can see right there, skeleton mask, very creepy. So that's why I brought Emil to this. Going all the way. Then we got Jolter from my last video. Then my Gun of Estrella. The main channel head. Which I mentioned I'm going to do some uh, upgrade pictures and whatnot. But, back to the video. I was going to be like, okay, when are we going to do video-wise? And you know what? Let's bring out all the... So I'm going to do a little video, like a quick fast, of all my creatures, monsters, or whatnot, of figures that I have. For this Halloween, since, you know, uh, what goes bunk in the night, who's there in the shadows, who, did you hear creaking under the bed, I said outside your window, all the horror stuff. So going in from my horror, uh, horror stuff, let's go with some uh, NECA figures that I do own, uh, and going with probably one of my favorite of the franchise of horror monsters, the Predators. Uh, this one right be I have actually two of them, I was actually going to try to get more, but never got the chance to, but I did get two. These right here are NECA figures from the NECA brand. Uh, this right here is Celtic right here from the first AVP movie. Uh, uh, we know the names of all of them. What's it called? Celtic. He's the one that fought uh, Grid the Xenomorph, the one that ends up having the uh, Grid head after getting stuck with the with the net and whatnot. This is over here after his battle right here, before his dust. You see right here his claws already uh, melted and whatnot. Overall, the detail work is pretty nice for this one. Does have his um, plasma caster holder right here, but does not have the plasma caster yet. Overall, pretty detailed work for this. I actually really do like this. Eventually, I will do like a whole reviews on these later down the line, but these are going to be quick and whatnot. <laughs> going from Celtic, we got Wolf. This right here is from AVP Requiem, the second movie for it. This right here is the veteran uh, predator, uh, chief, chieftain, warlord. Uh, what's called Alpha Predator. This one's right here that you see in the entire movie going going basically Going one-on-one -on -one against all the xenomorph and the uh, pred alien pretty awesome. I do love his design and whatnot pretty good Skull mask double take. He has the little canister right here for the little dissolving thing. He has the predator uh, web blades Combi stick. He has dual casters. This is also the one that has the extra charger one for the extended over here You can see right here for the backpack Overall, nice, nice detail work. And since uh, Xenomorph related, and, well, let's also be honest, my only Xenomorph is this one right here that I found at a flea market years ago. I have no clue what the hell this is. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a chestburster uh, Xenomorph. I'm pretty sure this is either an adult queen or whatnot because of how it looks. Uh, what's it called? I got this years ago at a flea market. Never know what it was. All I knew was this that it was Xenomorph, and I had to have it. I got this very cheap, but that was at a flea market. Now, going from my other monsters, uh, let's go with the Godzillas. And starting out with the 
Let's go with the King of the Monsters. Starting out with the King of the Monsters. Already one. I already made a video. We have the Ghost Godzilla right here. Pretty nice design. This right here is uh, GMK Godzilla during the 1998. I'm pretty sure. I didn't December 1998 when this, uh, GMK uh, came out. Or, mon or All Monsters Attack came out. Then we have... Sorry about that. I have everybody right next to me. It's like trying to like get all of them together because I decided to bunch everybody up together. Then we have Final Wars right here. Another video that we made right here. Probably one of my favorite movies out of all the Godzilla's here. This is 2004. Final Wars Godzilla. Then we have somebody who I have yet to do a video with, but I will do a video eventually. But right here we have Millennium Godzilla. This is the one for the Millennium Era. It's a more iconic one. This one's the more destructive of the Godzillas. I mean, all of them are destructive, but this is the one that comes with more nature incarnate. Well, for the 2000s. Like I said, Millennium. This is also the one that tanked uh, Black Hole and Survive. Then we go on from that. Then we go with Showa era Godzilla. This right here is a Showa era right here. This right here is the old, like, after 1954. This is the one that becomes, like, the hero Godzilla that we see during the uh, early, uh, later 50s or early 60s, going all the way to 70s, until the end of 1984, where they swap back to, basically, uh, Godzilla being a destroyer, which then goes from that uh, Showa to Heisei. Then going from my other Godzillas, we got Legendary Godzilla. This is 2014. This is the Godzilla that came out for 2014. Also pretty nice in design. This right here is one of the heavier my guys. So like, if I'm gonna pair weight between all these guys, this guy is heavy. So this guy's almost like a pound. Like, Final Wars Godzilla. Yes, it does have some weight, but not too much. This guy right here, it is heavy. He's a chunky boy. Going from 2014 Godzilla, the only Mecha Godzilla that I own, and technically my favorite of all the Mecha Godzilla. I'm gonna be honest. We have Kiryu. My favorite. This is also part of the Millennium Godzilla. This is the Kirio that fights uh, Millennium Godzilla during the first movie of Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Or Godzilla against Mechagodzilla because movie differentiations with how they are. Eventually we'll do a review of this guy eventually as well. And then last but not least, the most controversial of all the Godzillas. Well, the ben well it depends. It's the 98 Godzilla. Or Zilla, that is pronounced now. Uh... I will say this. I didn't hate the movie. I don't think the movie should have been called Godzilla. It should have been, I think it should have just been called a generic uh, monster. Like, it is, for me personally, it's a B movie. So if it didn't have the name Godzilla and it was just called a generic monster lizard, I think it would have been good. It wouldn't have been panned too much. But overall, this is pretty nice design. There's also another figure I got also at a flea market too. I'm pretty sure I got this and the Xenomorph together at the same time. Uh, but what's it called? Uh... But yeah, so this is Zilla right here. And then let's go with the final of my dinosaurs. We have Rexy right here. That's from Jurassic Park. This is Rexy. Uh, this right here I actually got at the museum, for those who do not know. Um, uh, the museums were actually doing this uh, Jurassic Park uh, Jurassic Park uh, collaboration where basically go in, kind of like doing the whole Jurassic Park, going from like the entrance, like the boat ride towards the entrance and whatnot, and having to escape the dinosaurs. It was actually pretty great. It was a pretty great experience. I actually did enjoy it. And this was at the at the end, the shop and whatnot. Got a Rexy, and I also got an Indominus Rex. I really do like these figures. They're actually pretty nice figures that I got these on. And the, in, the Indom, pretty good. Detail-wise, pretty nice. Very scary right there. I really do like it. Now, going from the Godzillas and, or, uh, oh, my dinos and whatnot. Actually, we have one more. But we got to move everybody out of the way because with the cold, it's starting to get a little bit crowded up here. Sorry, guys. Got to move you guys real quick. I do apologize. You guys will be back up. Uh, your shelving's later down the line. Going to be putting everybody back down. Uh, one final giant monster. We have my... Rasalos from Monster Hunter World. This right here is actually from Monster Hunter World. This right here I got at um, the uh, anime store Box Lunch. It's actually a pretty nice uh, statue of the Rasalos. I'm pretty sure this is the Rasalos. Then again, I played enough Monster Hunter World, so I should be right. Very detailed work of this. It's actually pretty nice. Like, legit, the detail work for this guy is pretty nice. Uh, this is also one of the figures I did try to uh, install on top of the on top of my ceiling. Did not pan out well because this thing actually did fell and hit me and well, almost lost an eye and whatnot. But I'm, I'm fine. That happened years ago. I kind of decided to like, you know what? You're just going to stay in the, one of my shelvings and you're going to be there. 
But overall, it's actually a pretty nice Rastalos figure. I got this actually as a birthday present, so it's actually pretty nice. Uh, what's it called? But pretty nice to draw still design. And then going for my other monsters. We have this, uh, the spider monster that the Mandalorian gets attacked during the second season. Uh, what's called this right here is actually one of the figures from one of my Black Series Mandalorians. Uh, figures that I do own, which you will see those figures later down the line. I'm going to do a whole videos for my whole Black Series figures of Star Wars. But this is the spider creature that's coming with it. That's not bad. Uh... Probably do some detail painting work to make it a little bit more lore accurate, but it's pretty nice. You probably scare people with this. Then again, you would scare people with this because this thing is actually f pretty freaky. And knowing how insects are in the real world, that they are. Now going from mo other monsters, we'll go with a little different franchise. Let's go with some um, Bakugan card. Wait, no, Bakugan. Yes, Bakugan? Yes, Bakugan. Oh, early Bakugan figures. Then we have the uh, Bakugan, we have the... Uh, Dragonoid figures and the Serpent right here, as you can see right here. Uh, these are old Bakugan figures back when Bakugan was still good during the early 2000s. Uh, what's it called? Then we have, uh, because I'm pretty sure, where's Drago? Oh yeah, here we go. We have my regular Drago, and then we have the other two Dragos I have right here. Pretty nice design. These right here are like early uh, Bakugan figures I used to have. I'm so glad I kind of kept, because let's be honest, when you move around you lose stuff. And I did lose a lot of stuff, because I had way more monster figures. But apparently they're all gone and whatnot. But hey, that's fine. Put these guys on the side. And then going from Bakugan, let's go with some Digimon figures that I do still have around. If I can find them. Where are they at? Okay, here we go. Going from Digimon figures, let's go with the uh, rookie level figures. We have Bioman. Like see right here. Then, oh, sorry, Bioman. We got Palmon right here. Palmon, Pal World. <laughs> And then we have Gatomon. Now, you're wondering how I got these figures. Uh, during the uh, TZ, uh, Digimon TG, uh, TG, uh, TCG set, or de uh, structure sets, or box sets and whatnot, they had basically Digimon figures with them. So you, so you bought a structure deck from, uh, you, uh, from the Digimon TGC. You actually got these as a side as a side reward as well. So not bad at all. I'm actually pretty glad I got these. And then my only other... Digimon figure that I have that's technically champion level and technically my favorite of the uh, champion level lines. We have Geo Greymon. This right here is actually a part set or armor set that could digivolve into, I think, uh, Riot's Greymon and whatnot because of the parts missing and whatnot. Uh, sadly, I don't have those parts anymore. Like I said, I got these when you were kids, when I was a kid. But through moving and uh, other stuff, I've lost them all. But my only other Geo Greymon. So I do want to try to get the Shine Greymon or at least Burst Mode from the. Uh, figure I said that Bandai is making, but that's probably going to be a later down the line. And then finally, we're going to be doing my Yu-Gi-Oh set. Or Yu-Gi-Oh monsters I do own too. Starting off, we got Baby Dragon right here. One of Joey's little cards. Uh, little card monsters. Then we have Time Wizard. Pretty nice. Time Wizard. Time Magic. Look at his little goofy eyes. Not gonna lie, apparently I had a launching video about it. Apparently, Time Wizard was actually supposed to be a spell card in the actual TCG, but uh, they ended up making him into a monster instead, which is actually pretty nice. Pretty fine. Uh, what else? I'm pretty sure I had some more cards. Uh, Alright, going from these two, because I'm pretty sure I'm missing some right now, but going from that, going from the uh, other two joy cards, let's go with another two joy monsters too. Was the Red Eyes Black Dragon. This right here is actually during the, um, for, you want to believe it or not, this actually is a keychain that I modified, or at least fixed, because this originally was a keychain, and had the keychain part on top of it, but what was it called? Uh, this is also from those random, um, gotcha bags that you could buy always, which I actually got lucky on, which you'll see right now when I'm talking about luck. Uh, but we're pretty nice. I, I removed all the keychain parts and filled them in just because I, I don't really use things for keychains. I like to have them as collectibles. And you know what the final of the joy stuff? We have Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. This right here is actually an old one. Uh, for those who used to buy Yu-Gi-Oh, if you remember, Mattel used to make uh, the small figures during back in the DM era. This right here is actually one of them. Uh, Mattel Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Actually, I'm really glad I actually got this. Because I used to have these when I was a kid. Uh, sadly, as a kid and whatnot, and these were very fragile. Uh, end up losing my, my original Black Metal Dragon. 
uh, what's it called? Because I ended up losing his pieces and whatnot in the yard and whatnot. And trying to find it was always hard. And never, I was never able to get back to him. So going from these uh, Joey cards, let's go with some Kaiba monsters. Uh, with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Again, this one right here is also another keychain monster. Uh, what's it called? As well, as he's right there, I did fix it a bit, do a little bit of painting and whatnot, because it, this is silver, so I did have to actually, the silver to correct this. But a pretty nicely designed. Like I said, uh, these were the cheap uh, gotcha bags uh, for like four or five bucks, so I'm actually kind of glad I got this. And then my other, another keychain, the one that tangly, I'm pretty sure I also filled too, whatnot, is the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Again, not bad detail work stuff, especially for, again, cheap uh, uh, keychain figures. That I got these from. Overall, not bad at all. I always have in my collection, especially with me being a big Yu Gi Oh fan and whatnot. And the last of the keychains, because I'm gonna have multiple dupes of these, uh, is the Egyptian God Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Again, another keychain creature. Overall, not bad at all. Like, legit, a lot of these keychain parts are actually pretty decently well designed. And again, a lot of DM monsters are pretty rudimentary and easy to create. And then going from another of the, uh, of those, um, Millennium Puzzle mystery boxes. Another <laughs> Slide for the Sky Dragon. <laughs> yeah, folks. We got another Slide for the Sky Dragon right here. This right here, I'll feel like it's a more chibi version of this. And going from that, we have another <laughs> Slide for the Sky Dragon. This one actually right here is actually the same Mattel figure. That the Black Metal Dragon is from, too. It's actually right here. It's one of the older ones. If you remember back, like, around, like, what, early 2004 or 5, Mattel used to make Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters. It was almost all the DM era, all the way until Battle City. Uh, the Asian Shigata ones were the ones I used to have, too. But as a kid, I broke them all and lost them in the yard as well, so I lost pieces. I broke half of Slifer the Sky Dragon, so I only had, like, half of the body left, which is sad. Then we have Obelisk the Tormentor. Or God War of Obelisk. Or War Soldier of Obelisk. Right here. Uh, what happened to my original Obelisk is, again, the head actually popped off and the hands also popped off too. So, Cypher was Cypher's half. Obelisk lost the head and hands. And then last but not least, the Winged Dragon Raw. Or, like how everybody likes to say, it's the Mega Ultra Chicken. Right here, and the Winged Dragon Raw was probably the only one that probably had full body still. The only thing that my original Winged Dragon Raw lost was its head. So, getting these back was actually pretty great. I actually find these on a pretty good deal at a, at a yard sale. Uh, but what's it called? Pretty great. I'm kind of glad that all my Egyptian gods back from all the way when I was a kid. And then, the last but not least, of my monsters. And let's also be honest, the cures and probably the best of the original. is Dark Magician Girl. This right here is actually my only Dark Mission Girl that I actually do own. Well, figure-wise. Card-wise, I have a lot of Dark Mission Girl cards that I do own. Of various, of various eras of Dark Mission Girl. Uh, this one actually is right here is actually one I actually got at Chinatown. Uh, funny enough, uh, what's it called? I got taken to uh, where I live, uh, Chinatown, which is just pretty nice. Food's great. Uh, go back there again whenever I get the chance to and have enough money and whatnot. Uh, but what's it called? I got this for a good, uh, decent price. And you know what people say, it's like, uh, this right here is probably a knockoff, but overall it's pretty great, detail-wise. I don't think, uh, overall it's a pretty great figure. Very cute. It is Dark Magician Girl, she is the favorite, and in person for me, is the best of the Monster Girls in the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh! People might, probably, people might say otherwise, that they have others, maybe Sky Striker, maybe some of the Link ones. But person for me, Dark Magician Girl is the OG, and always will be the favorite. Uh, second best towards that will probably be Burst in Tricks from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. But yeah, out of the way, that is right there my Halloween monster collection for this um, Halloween special. Uh, I know this is like a whole window of stuff and it's going through all my Yu-Gi-Oh! figures, uh, all my monster figures that I have right now. I kind of wish I had more because back when I was a kid I used to have a whole lot more monster figures and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, moving around, things change and all that, and you lose stuff, and I really can't do anything about that. But I'm glad I have what I have with my monsters, figures, and stuff. But with that out of the way, folks, this is I, Pardon, uh, signing out. And a happy Halloween, folks. Uh, stay safe, be careful, 
I hope you guys get some candy, have some fun, uh, stay safe from the paranormal, and I will see you guys on the next one, which I will do, I will say, we'll have maybe one more video uh, coming out after this one, that one will be another Halloween one too, technically speaking, because the character there technically is born on Halloween, so you'll see what I'm talking about on the next video afterwards, but without the way folks, have a nice day, stay safe, and as always, have a good day folks, happy Halloween, Pirate and sign out once again.